Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome to my YouTube video. In, in this video, I want to give you like a uh, overview tutorial on how to use the simple Salesforce package to manipulate with Salesforce data in Python. So before we begin, uh, you need to have the simple Salesforce package installed. If you don't have the simple Salesforce package installed, you can just do a pipe install or, or manually install the simple Salesforce package. Anyway, let's start this uh, tutorial video. So before we begin, we need uh, five different things. We need the username and password. If you are connecting to uh, production environments or developer environment, then the eSIM box uh, value will be zero. Otherwise, if you are trying to connect to a SIM box environment or test environment, then you want to enter this as one. But since I'm trying to connect to the developer uh, environment, so my SIM box value is going to be zero. And next, you need your uh, security token and the uh, Salesforce instant URL, and which is the, this link right here. Okay. And once you have the five things and the simple Salesforce package installed, and let's go ahead and try to connect to Salesforce. So, and we we'll have a blank empty uh, Python script. And I'm going to uh, use the pandas package uh, to create my data. It should to display, not to create, to display my data. And, oops, and import pandas. PD. And I want to import my simple Salesforce uh, package. And we want to import the Salesforce class. This is very important. And next, I want to uh, import my login function. From login. And next, we're going to create a, a connection variable. So using the Salesforce class, and you will see they'll have uh, several parameters. But in, but in theory, we we'll just need the uh, five parameters that we assign to our variable under the login uh, Python script. So the first one is the username and password. And get up there. And security token. So the instance URL and last one is the sandbox uh, value. So the sandbox. You can actually manually uh, hard code the the log information. You don't necessarily need to mimicking what I'm doing right now, <clears throat> but it's up to you. And now if we run these, so. And if, if you're not getting any errors, that means that you're connecting to your Salesforce envi environment successfully. So now if I do a uh, C, if I run a, a, a query, so using the uh, simple Salesforce API, so SF query, and slap uh, name, um, account, which is, let me do ID and name and limits to 10 records and you should get a, uh, a dictionary like this so it's hard to see but i'm going to use the uh, pandas library to make the, the data set more personable but over here is my our re my uh, data set information now i have the id and names uh, and this is the record number two, you know, idea and name, and so on. I'm going to share one of the function I wrote. So, and I, and so basically, it's a it's a function that allows me to uh, query my data set, I guess, more clean away. So my function is called uh, circle, 
and the uh, the parameter is the just the uh, so-called curl. So result is uh, total size. <clears throat> and this will print the uh, total size of the record set. It's down goes to Carissa. <clears throat> because of the way the, um, the uh, API works, there's a variable called uh, down. So let me go back and see if I can find it. Um, oh, right here. So uh, down variable is equals to two. That means that this is the last batch. Let's say I need to uh, extra, let's say uh, 2000 records. And because how the way how Salesforce API works is every time it runs the API, it runs by batches and every batch can have up to 200 records. So if you have 2000 records, then Salesforce need to run um, the API 10 times. And so 200 times 10, it goes to 2000. And this is how it works. So, uh, if I'm running a SQL query against Salesforce, and my uh, record size maybe like let's say uh, 205 records and my first batch is going to uh, for the first batch the down variable will uh, it goes to false that means that i need to uh, continue keep uh, executing the uh, api until you get to the last batch if you need to um, query a large value of data Let's say if you need to create, uh, let's say, uh, 10,000 records, then you want to use the book uh, API, and which I'll show you in a different video. So for now, let's just uh, finish this uh, so-called function. <clears throat> and so here's our uh, uh, criteria. So if it's done, it's equals to two, and our data frame will be equals to data frame. And query results equals to records. Oops. Otherwise, while uh, it's done, it's not equals to two. Then we'll use the, the try statement. So if query result equals to done. Uh, equals to down and shit. Now it goes to true. Then want to appendix the data set uh, to the data frame. They want to use the query more uh, function and to get the next batch. So query result. Into house. So data frame will be data frame. So it goes to two and prints uh, complete. And break, so I want to uh, exile uh, the while loop. And I'm just going to give a uh, air handle right here. So it's the name here. And print, curry, sorry. Goes 
so two. Okay. And and last one to <clears throat> drop the attribute uh, column since um, since the attribute column doesn't have any usefulness and x and, TK, uh, and access will be a column and return the data frame okay now let me just um, execute this function so let me just run this okay Okay, now if I have a Swoogle query, so let's say I want to select ID and name from opportunity object. And here's my Swoogle query. And I can, so I'm just grab this uh, statement. And I can just run a Swoogle and it's entering the the uh, SQL query statement. Oops, uh, should be. Uh, oh, forgot there's a typo. Forgot the i. And let me run this function again. Okay. If I, oops, if I just run uh, the SQL function and execute, and this will print. This will give us the. Um, the record count of 32, which found the uh, the record count, the print record count statement, as well as the data frame. So let me let me see what else we can query. So let me go into the uh, cases object, and let me just grab a couple of fields. Uh, I'm just going to grab the the uh, email field, email, slot ID, email, and um, contact. I'm assuming, I'm assuming grab, uh, maybe, oh, sorry, it should be case object, not contact case. Is escalated. And okay, that should be good. Uh, if I run this, oh, I forgot the uh, close parenthesis. And that will return the record set based on the uh, circle query. I found this a lot more useful. Uh, so if you use uh, IPython, directly write the circle script while going to the uh, the developer console and because I found that there's a lot of limitation with using developer console sometimes the column was not uh, fitting correctly and if I want to export you know, my result to a, to Excel file or CSV or even you know, migrate data to from Salesforce to uh, SQL Server or, or different Salesforce environment then using these uh, Salesforce API or the simple Salesforce API is very uh, convenient. And this is everything I want to um, go, go over in this video. And for the next video, I want to show you how to use the action query, like how to insert a new record, uh, delete a record, to update or upset. If you found this video useful, uh, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.